Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. You know, about a week ago, like a lot of people, I was incredibly disappointed to hear that at some point there's a possibility that our imported ammo from Russia could dry up. You know, a lot of us shoot 762 by 39, and it's not that we're not going to get it from other countries, it's just that we won't be able to get it for those cheap prices anymore. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people are really going to miss. And just the fact that availability, it could be a little bit scarce for a while unless domestic production picks up or if other countries start bringing in other ammo to the United States of America. Um, I was watching the Military Arms Channel video the other day and it gave me some peace of mind that we're going to be okay. We're still going to get 762 by 39. It's not going to be an issue. And I've got some good news for you. I think I found maybe one of the first boxes possibly around my area at least of a non-Russian imported 762 by 39 ammo. Uh, before, I could still score a little bit of Hornady if I looked around. Um, I could also get some Winchester, okay, but we're also talking about a buck around for brass case stuff. So this isn't the best price. I mean, this is not gonna be the, you know, what, $699, $499 a box of Tula that we used to get before, but it's also cheaper than a lot of what's available out there right now. So I went to my local Shields and they've got no limits on purchase um, amounts. You can get as much as you want. I'm just getting a box. I wanna see how good this stuff can run, but I've got some ZVS ammunition. Now I looked it up and it looks like Century Arms imports the nine millimeter version. I don't know exactly who imports this. So this is made in Macedonia. It's owned by a Slovakian Sol company. I think I could say that I'm being checked myself, but anyway, we're looking at a 124 grain uh, full metal jacket, lead bullet, okay, it's non-magnetic non-corrosive, it can be reloaded. Now you might say, well, why would you reload 762 by 39? Well, I mean, I've got a few rifles. I've got the uh, the Ruger Ranch in a 762 by 39. So whenever I shoot that and I use brass case ammo for it, what little I've actually shot through it, I've been holding on to it because at some point I might want to get into reloading 762 by 39. So depending on what you have for a rifle and depending on your needs and uses, you might want to consider uh, shooting this. If you do shoot this, do try to get your cases back because there's going to be some market value for 762 by 39 in the near future, if not right now, for people that reload like me. Um, so let's go ahead and take a, take a look at it real quick and just take it out of the box. And some quick specifications on it, I looked it up. Uh, prices, now I paid $12.99, which is expensive, but and I could still get some Tula, I could still get some Wolf at the... Uh, the local shields, but it was running about $9 a box for 20. Well, I thought I'm just gonna get this. They were almost out of that stuff anyway. And honestly, I've got plenty of seven, steel case 762 by 39. Um, this stuff is gonna run 2,360 feet per second. Not sure exactly what the energy is gonna be. I can't do that off the top of my head, but if you run it through a ballistics calculator with a 124 grain uh, bullet, you can probably figure it out. Uh, the fact that it is non-magnetic, the fact that it does have a lead core bullet means I can shoot it at indoor ranges if I want to, which is pretty cool. Sometimes I just like to take the uh, Ruger Ranch out for a little shot. There we go. Looks like a pretty decent uh, round. Looks a lot like the Winchester stuff that I used to shoot. And really, there's no complaints about it online when I check it out. Let's get the... Oh, there we go. All right. So if you're looking for 762 by 39 and you can't find it, I'm going to bring this in a range test soon. I'll take the, the Ruger Ranch out. We'll just run the box of 20 and see what kind of groups it produces. Uh, you know, obviously this isn't something you'd want to hunt with. You might want to get yourself a nice soft point or ballistic tip point. And there's a lot of options out there too for that. So anyway, ZBS ammunition, if you guys have any experience with this at all, please chime in below in the comment section. Let me know. Tell me know what you think. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I'm pretty excited. So again, it's coming from Macedonia. If we start to get other 762 by 39 options, people who are panicking, thinking they can never get that ammo anymore, um, you know, they're going to have some other options, which is definitely a good thing. So anyway, uh, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. In the Thank meantime, you. guys, like and subscribe. Match that bell. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.